Oh my goodness, look at that. That, that is a big Ooh, burger. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go, guys. I uh, <laughs> guess we better be hungry today, all right? Oh, yeah. So. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. And first off, welcome to the hardest food challenges of 2021. Yes, that is right. So as we come upon 2022 and we try to forget or at least try to fathom what has happened the last two years, let us talk about the hardest food challenges that I have encountered this year. So this came as per your popular request. We did this in, I think, 2019, and uh, it's good to do it in 2021. So let us get started here. Um, these are gonna be the top five, yes, the top five hardest food challenges that I faced this year in no particular order. And let's talk about why some of these were so difficult because some of them really shouldn't have been. So let's start with a fun one. So now when I said fun, I don't know if fun is the right word for it, but a funny one perhaps. Um, so this is a challenge which was released very recently. So we'll start with this. So this was at a place called Mel's in Waterloo, Ontario. Essentially they have a five pound Godfather burger challenge. Um, which is a like massive, massive burger with a side of fries, etc. Anyway, I decided to double it because no one had ever doubled it. Anyway, so I knew that it was going to be tough because of all the buns and stuff, but it was like a 10 or just over 10 pounds. I was like, I should be able to do this okay. Um, that being said, you know, we were trekking along, all right. Um, you know, let's say, you know, the first you know, 15, 20 minutes. I like, you know, I got through the burger patties, I'm well into the fries. I'm like, okay, it'll just be this bread. It won't be too bad. Well, let's just say about 20, 20, 25 minutes, probably about 20 minutes. Man, I needed to poo. Just put it forward, that's how it is. I had to use the bathroom. I had so much like abdominal pressure on my lower end that I was like about to bust and not in a good way. So I was sitting there, you know, again, 20 minutes turns to 25, which turned to 30. And if you can't tell, I am struggling so, so, so much. And again, I shouldn't have been struggling this much. It was like, obviously there was a lot of bread. Yes, the bread was a lot. The bread was tough. This was a tough challenge, but I should have been able to do this. I figured in like 28, maybe 30 minutes max, but I, after that 20 minute mark, I was sitting there, I'd use the bathroom so bad, and I had a couple people come out to watch. There was were some of them on the uh, back bar. And anyway, to make a long story short, I was legit sitting there thinking I was going to shit myself. Yes, I was like praying to God, be like, okay, I think like I'm really going to shit myself. Like I was just there clenching as hard as I could for like 20 minutes. And you gotta realize I am clenching as hard as I can while shoving more food and everything into it. So not only, again, at this point, let's be honest, I wasn't enjoying the buns, I wasn't enjoying the challenge, I was just trying not to poop myself. So this, again, challenge, you know, which took me in the end, like, what, 40, let's see, uh, probably about 40-ish minutes, even over 40 minutes, yeah, over 40 minutes, uh, you know, like 40, to like 42, basically like 42 and a half minutes. I was there just trying not to poop myself for the last 20 minutes. This one was so hard. So this turned a 10 to 11 pound challenge, which should have been difficult. Like it should have been difficult, pushed me to a very close out of 10 anyway, but it pushed that above the top 10, like above a 10 out of 10, because I had to poop myself. And anyway, to make a long story short, I did not poop myself, but I swear to God, I thought I was gonna shit myself. That was so close. So that was definitely one of the hardest food challenges of 2021, again, being because I really thought well, don't get me wrong, the challenge was giant. I shouldn't have doubled it. It was ridiculous and a lot of food, but having to poop myself made it just unbearable. And like I said, never have been even closer to pooping myself in a challenge before. So there's a good place to start. That was a fun one. Let's get to some more difficult ones as well. So next is a pizza challenge I did with my good friend, Mr. George Lebianco in Columbus, Ohio in June of 2021. So this was back in June. Um, so. This was a very interesting challenge. So to make a long story short, um, we 
saw online that it was like about 11 pounds. Uh, and then we called and the guy said, oh, it's actually probably more like 11 to 13 pounds. Um, anyway, so we show up at this place and it was a very, very large pizza. So it was about the right diameter being, I don't know, 28, 30, 32 inches, whatever it was. Um, but the amount of toppings on it was just extraordinary. So it was a pizza just doused in toppings. And I'm not talking like, oh, there's a lot of toppings on this pizza. I'm talking like pizza, layer of thick toppings, which were adhered to the pizza. And then like, for some reason, handfuls of extra topping on top, which were not adhered to the pizza. So they just fell off. Like it was almost as if like the pizza was cooked. Cause you know, when you cook a pizza, the ingredients, you know, the toppings kind of adhere to the pizza with the cheese and everything. Well, this was like, they did that. And then they just were like, oh, it's not big enough. And threw in extra toppings, uh, extra piles of toppings on afterwards. In fact, actually, I bet that's what they did because otherwise it doesn't make sense why and how there were so like many toppings. And we will see that here momentarily. But anyway, so I did a small challenge earlier in the day. I'm talking like three or four pounds was a real quick one. Um, again, it was supposed to be like 11 pounds. George was good for maybe like six, seven pounds. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a walk in the park. Well, anyway, it was not. So we're a couple minutes in this pizza. And again, we're like, wow, there's a lot of toppings. But after probably about five, even like the first, maybe like five minutes in where we're about Mm, a quarter to a half, me and George both look at each other and we're like, something's off. And to make a long story short, something tasted really off. Like I'm talking like, honestly, it kind of tasted like it was bad ground beef. If I had to guess, that's kind of where I would go with it. So then, so we're into this challenge, which is way bigger than we anticipated. I'm talking like, again, we were thinking 11 pounds. The guy said 13. We're like, okay, that's going to be interesting, but we'll do it. And then it comes out, which I would say to be 15 to 16, just with all those toppings. Cause like I said, you can already kind of see the toppings and we're like folding it. We're trying to eat them like tacos to keep the toppings on. And they're just not staying on the toppings. Like I said, I think they cooked the pizza and we're like, for some reason, oh, let's make it tough on them. Maybe they called somebody. Maybe somebody said, you know, add more toppings. Cause it was a cash prize. Anyway, they really tried to make it impossible. And it basically was again, the worst part is like I said, it tasted rancid, like something on it tasted bad. So we're trying to eat this pizza. I'm already full. George is, you know, he, he George is crushing it. I'm really glad I had George there with me because we this, this was a challenge we had to push and push and push. So, you know, I'm talking, you know, we're here at like 25, 27 minutes in. We're having to like ice ourselves. Um, by this point, the, it was interesting because the restaurant even came out and they're like, oh, you're obviously going to beat it. Like, what's your t-shirts and stuff? We're kind of like, you think we're gonna beat this? We, we thought we were gonna fail. We were put like, it was such a difficult challenge. We did have a 60 minute time limit, um, which we were trying to work with. But like I said, by 30 minutes, we were dying. By 35 minutes, George is standing. I'm just trying to breathe. Um, you know, we're using anything and everything possible just to get this down. As like I said, it, it not only was it giant, which your body of course wants you to stop eating when it's giant, but it just tasted so bad, like, like rotten, like not good. Anyway, so, you know, come on 45, 50 minutes. You can just see it in our faces. Like I said, I'm just trying to breathe. We were giving it our all. We were like, man, if we're going to fail a challenge, at least be, be it a challenge that like we gave it our all and we, it just beat us. Let us not fail a challenge, which yes, we gave it our all, but it was because it tasted so bad slash like it, it was came out, you know, so much bigger than it was supposed to be, you know? So anyway, we were like, we don't want to lose this stupid challenge. I don't want to pay for this stupid challenge. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's a stupid challenge, but in the moment, that's how we felt again. Like, 48 minutes, 39 or 49 minutes. You know, I am like, we're just trying to keep this thing down. We'll put it that way. Um, you know, we come to the end. We're talking like last sips, last bits. There are obviously some of the like falling crumbs, but they literally said like, as soon as you're done, the pizza, basically the dough component, you're done. I was like, All right, am I done at 49, 20? He's like, yes. And I was just like, thank you, dear Lord Jesus. George was like, you know, we're both like, thank you, God. And, uh, I had to uh, like, yeah, let's just say there was like, that was a, that was not a good challenge. There was no happy endings after that. Never. That was just, that was just a not good challenge. So again, that is why that challenge made it to the top 
five hardest challenges of 2021. So this next one's not actually a challenge, which is why like I'm kind of throwing this in as a bonus, if that makes sense. So this won't be included in the five, this is bonus, because um, this wasn't actually a challenge, but this was the King of Donair Donair record. So I, if you're not familiar with Donair, there's something called a Halifax Donair, and it looks just like a Euro or a Gyro, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is a seasoned ground beef, which is shaved thin, uh, topped with generally tomatoes, onions, and what they call a donair sauce. No, it's not a donair, it's not a donair, donair, it's not a donair kebab, it's not any donor, it's none of that, it's a donair, it's a Halifax, Nova Scotia thing. It is a, it is a thing, you can look it up. Yes, they're all similar, but it is different. Um, and it's, it's served with like a top, like a sweet kind of garlic sauce. Anyway, so for this challenge, um, or this record, Basically, in 2019, I ate 19 donairs, and no one had ever consumed anywhere near that. That's just a stupid amount of donairs. So I was like, this is 2021, I'll come try to beat that record, I'll try to eat 20 or 21 to beat it by like one. But then we got, you know, so that was tough. Uh, it took me, let's see how, I think it was probably 30-ish, uh, about 30-ish minutes, 30-ish, 35 minutes um, to eat of the 20. Uh, or like the 19 slash 20 like I did before. The before it took me 57 minutes or something. So again, I did about half the time, which was pretty cool. Um, but then I kept going just because we had people on like super chat and here I'm like contemplating life. And I was like, well, 2020 was such a BS year. I'll go to 20, I'll go to, it's 2021, I'll eat 21 donairs, I'll eat 21 donairs. And then people online kept encouraging me. So I was like, really? But anyway, as you can see, I'm just dying. This is so much food. I'm struggling to breathe. And somehow 21 turns into 22, which then turns into 23, which turns into 24. Um, you know, and again, I was, I was just dying. There's like nothing left of me by the time we got this 24th one. I was, there was just, you know, all I could do was drink vitamin water and you know, by the time I finished 24, it was just like, I'm never doing that again. Um, so yeah, like I said, that was a tough one, <laughs> really tough, would not recommend. But anyway, it was a fun one, but like I said, too much. Anyway, f fun bonus, not an actual challenge. Like I said, it's not actually making it into the top five, but something that deserves honorable mention. Next challenge, which I think deserves uh, to be in the top five, it's a little different. So this is more of a speed challenge versus the um, other ones which we've seen, which are like pure size or quantity, basically. So this is the um, three pound burrito challenge from Badass Burrito. So I was there in early July, like maybe like July, literally like first, or maybe it was June 30th of 2020 here to do the badass burrito challenge. So basically what the challenge was is you had to eat their three pound burrito in a minute and 52 seconds. So if you ate it in a minute and 52 seconds, um, you would get not only the burrito for free, but you would win a jackpot cash prize. And at the time it was $1,100. I was in Texas, uh, coincidentally, not to do this challenge. And one morning I kind of saw, I had like a little, a couple hours um, free and I was like, do I want to go try this? Like, cause I really wasn't actually that confident that I could do it at all. Um, it's very quick. I've seen some good eaters try this and they came nowhere close. So minute 52, again, that's three, like three pounds of food. They do weigh it out. Um, at least, you know, roughly weigh it out. Um, so it's a three or plus, but either way, three pounds. Uh, they do weigh it out, like I said. So I just had to do that in basically a minute and 51 seconds or less. So I said, okay, whatever. So I was nervous for this, so nervous. Um, I had some kind of like uh, friend, family event just kind of happened. So I was not in the right mindset at all. Again, incredibly nervous going in there. Um, I had my, put, put, put my headphones in, put my music on, and I was like, if I can do this, just like be with me, God, let me see what I can do. Um, I mean, worst case, I failed. And, and well, technically, I guess, if you beat it within three, I think four minutes for the burrito, you actually do beat the challenge and you do get it for free. So I was like, worst case, I'll probably A, choke and die, or get a free burrito and not get the jackpot, but I really wanted to do it. So again, I put on my music in, just was gonna give it my all. I was like, I don't, you know, 
I'm gonna either gonna die or I'm gonna win this burrito, uh, beat it. And so I gave it, I almost choked there at 30 seconds, like real close here, I'll come back to that. Where was I here? You see me uh, take a not good bite here. Um, and like right there and kind of like was able to get it down enough. So the big gulp of water or whatever, like I said, I was like, whatever goes. And anyway, so we're coming into the end here. And again, I was like, hey, I think I can do this thing. I just by about 1.30 when I saw what I had left, I was like, I can, I can finish this. So I probably let off the gas like 2%, um, but like barely any, again, I was still going like 110 basically. Uh, so I'm just clearing the plate and basically, you know, I had to swallow it. So I finished with, you know, in 141, um, again, so with like nine seconds to spare, uh, we were able to do that, which was great because we won a jackpot of $1,100, which was awesome. So I really appreciated that. They were really nice. Um, the, when I showed up there, the, they're like, cause I called the night before and they're like, yeah, yeah, just show up. So I came on by and they're like, oh, well, the owner's not here. I'm like, what do you mean? I just called last night. Um, you know, I told them like I do some food challenges and I'm just happy to be in the area. And they're like, hey, well, let me see what I can do. Um, so the, she called the manager or boss or whatever and they made it happen. So I was really thankful that they made that happen for me because obviously I'm not from Texas. So that was great. So I'm glad I got to do that. And again, um, because of the crazy time limit and how difficult of a challenge that was, that's why they made it in the top five. We only finished with nine seconds to spare. All right, so that brings us down to our last two, the two hardest, well, hardest challenges slash of the five hardest challenges of 2021. So this one is ridiculous, should never be attempted by anybody. And then the one after that actually is unreleased. So I'm gonna tell you a bit about that one. I guess you guys are gonna see a, a bit of an unreleased video. Um, and yeah, so let's get into that right here. So the challenge, Next on the list of the most difficult challenges is the 15 pound prime rib challenge I did at Billy Bob's. So this was an absolutely massive prime rib roast slash steak challenge at Billy Bob's in Texas. So the location is absolutely legendary. This is the biggest honky tonk in the world, in Texas, etc. So it was literally like a prime rib, which was like 11 pounds. It had three giant sides. They weighed over a pound, green beans, potato salad, and coleslaw. So again, really dense, heavy items. Then we had a big thing of cracklins, um, or some people call them chicharrones, or just basically fried pig skins to make a long story short, which probably again weighed probably like two pounds, which is a lot, like very voluminous. It was a huge container before I dumped them out on the tray. So anyway, we had 90 minutes to complete this challenge. Like this was, I knew this was like, I honestly went in this thinking I was not going to finish it. By the time I saw everything, I saw how big it is. I was like, there is just like, the time limit is a lot, but I there is no way this is actually gonna fit inside my body cavity. Um, when it came to the actual like food and flavors, it was really good. But you know, on the steak alone, I mean, I was eating that prime rib for like 30 some minutes. Like it tasted really good. Um, I used some of the sauces. I think retrospect, I would have tried to use more sauce, maybe even just get some plain salt um, just to add more flavor in. And there was just like the flavor fatigue, right? So yes, I could have mixed in, um, you know, bites of the cracklins and I did have some pickles and onions and jalapenos there in a big plate. I, could, I should have used a little bit more, um, but again, I was trying not to eat more. Again, I should have mixed in the coleslaw, um, but that was kind of all, I think all that is retrospect. So like I said, I ended up eating this prime rib uh, just cause it was so much of it for like, you know, 30, here I'm, you know, what, like 40 minutes over 40 minutes, like like basically 40 minutes of prime rib before we got into the cracklins, which were also really delicious, but just a lot of food and a lot of chewing and everything. So, you know, just the sheer volume. I mean, after that prime rib, I was like ready to tap out. Again, I was thinking there was no way I was gonna complete this challenge. 
Again, retrospectively, I should have threw in mix, uh, mixed the things in a little bit more or just had some more salt, more sauces, something with that prime rib. But nonetheless, you know, it still took time to chew and get down and everything. And I mean, so by like 50 minutes, I was pretty much done the cracklings. Um, but you gotta realize, I was chewing and eating straight. It's not like I took any breaks, you know, already for 50 minutes. Straight chewing, 50 minutes. Straight chewing for 50 minutes turned into straight chewing for like an hour, over an hour. And I am just trying everything to get this food down, um, to keep it down drinks you can just see in my face i'm dying again struggling to breathe struggling to just live and like i said we're now an over an hour it's an over an hour of pure chewing and eating so like at this point this made this the longest food challenge i've ever had um, prior to that it would have been like literally like 59 minutes 50 some seconds you know so anyway this thing legit took like 65 minutes um I, it was way too much food. You wonder about the aftermath? I had plans the next two days. I actually had to cancel. I could not do anything, guys. This was messed up. I think if a challenge was to ever be like close to putting me in the hospital, it was this one. If I could have like, I, I debated it. I was like, what did they, I, I didn't even know what they could do. I was like, can they go pump my stomach or something? Like this was such a brick in my stomach. I was so backed up. I couldn't do anything. I felt horrible. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'll ever try to do something this big again just because of the sheer aftermath. It tasted good uh, and it was a hell of an experience. Billy Bob's there and the guys at FPOS or FPOS all for putting this on. This was phenomenal. It was a, definitely a once in a lifetime experience and which I will never forget. It was super awesome. I don't regret doing it per se but I would never do it again, if you understand what I mean. What if I what I have entered into the same situation knowingly, what was going to happen? No. Having done it, it is what it is. I'm glad I did it, but never again. Never, ever, ever again. Okay, and then the last of the five challenges um, of which, you know, the hardest of 2021, which again, is unreleased. No one's ever seen this. So this was at a, um, Basically, it was a, I guess, New York style deli. It was in Fairfax, Virginia. So um, I was kind of in, in Maryland, actually, I decided to drive on down. So what this is, here, check this out. I'm gonna show you, just to exemplify what this is like, let me play the intro music. Let's just say, this was interesting. So according to foodchallenges.com, I think it was supposed to be like a four or maybe four and a half or five pound challenge max. Um, being it was like a big Reuben, it was supposed to be a 40 ounce Reuben. Um, so it's like basically two and a half pound of meat on a sandwich. And I was like, okay, well it's only bread and whatever else. And then it's supposed to be about a side of fries or a pound of fries. Anyway, so I show up to a you know challenge which i i do think the meat was probably about right but you know whereas i was thinking like a pound of fries or you know to make it four pounds would have been like maybe max a pound and a half i had probably three to four pounds of french fries so as i mentioned i was coming down from maryland i had just did a challenge earlier that day i only because kind of like i'll do this last minute fit it in it's pretty close anyway um, so here I am trying to do this challenge. You do have 30 minutes to complete it. So I'm digging into this challenge. Um, I start with the French fries because the sandwich was just so, so, so hot. I let it cool down for what I thought was like probably about 20 minutes and I'm thinking like, oh, it's totally gonna be cooled off because the French fries at this point were basically cold. But the French fries, the way they were wrapped around the sandwich, fully insulated the sandwich. So when I pulled the sandwiches out, they were still like legit like steam pouring off. I had to put them on separate plates. I couldn't eat them. So, whereas I probably would have wanted to start with the sandwich, I couldn't. So I was able to eat little bits of the sandwich, basically had to go for the fries. But man, I was eating these fries for like ever, ever and ever and ever. They were just not ending. These French fries would not end. So 
you know, again, and this is probably about four pounds of fries. I had probably about five pounds in me. I was hoping this challenge was about four pounds because that's what I w went into. And this thing was probably more like six and a half or seven, I would say, because well, let's say the sandwich was two and a half pounds of meat plus all the sauerkraut, which was a lot, bread and everything. There's no way that sandwich was at least three pounds in itself. And then at least three to four pounds of fries. So yeah, let's say like six to seven pounds being modest. I was expecting probably four. Again, only 30 minutes. So by like the 15 minute mark, I am getting to the point where I'm like already so full, I'm kind of like, this is not going well. These fries are not disappearing. And then I'm trying to eat the sandwich and I found, although it tasted fine, I found the meat really like kind of, I don't know if stringy is the right word, but hard to eat. So I had to basically like pull it and eat it like this and it required just so much chewing to get it down enough. Um, so I don't know if it was just tougher because my body was like not wanting to eat. So my mouth was dry to use more liquids than normal. The fries again were never ending. Um, so, you know, by like the 18 minute mark, 19 minute mark, 20 minute mark, you know, where am I here? I am, uh, so by like 23 minutes in, I am having to stand. I had to stand up. I'm just trying to fit this in. I'm like, I didn't have too much left but I'm trying to shove these fries in, I'm trying to shove this um, sandwich in and just not ending. I'm, again, I'm standing up, I am so full, I'm getting incredibly nauseous. Um, I, I went and grabbed um, ice. Uh, I was doing the ice trick on the back of my neck. Um, you know, everything to get this down and I was legit completely, completely frantic at this point. Um, I just, I just could not fit anything else in me. I was, again, standing up didn't help. Um, drinking, like, was at this point wasn't helping. And I was just, I basically was like, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to beat this challenge. Um, it, again, it was just, the food was just not going. Like I said, I was so nauseous. I had ice on the back of my neck. It was like, it seemed like I didn't have much in front of me, but I just couldn't eat anymore. It was literally just like I was at my max. I couldn't handle it. And at that, you're going to have to wait for the video to be released to see how it ended. Uh, you know, this very well could be a fail. This could be a win. You'll have to kind of wait to see. But anyway... Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was the five hardest food challenges of 2021. Um, you know, they all basically fell between, I guess, June and October pretty much because the beginning of the year, you know, January to basically June slash May, we were on like legit lockdown. So I really didn't get to do like really restaurant challenges much during that time or at all, you know what I mean? Very minimal, minuscule, minimal, if I did get to do anything. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, if you liked the video, like down below. Um, comment down below what you thought of this video. Let me know if you liked it as well. Um, you know, hey, sorry to give you a cliffhanger, but you gotta wait and see what happened. Um, like I said, people ask if I lose. Guys, I post every video, win or loss. They say, have you failed the challenge? I say, wait and see, just watch, watch and see. Um, but that's about it. So again, huge thank you to you. Appreciate the support. I hope you had a good 2021. It was a very interesting year for a lot of us, but I hope you have an even better 2022. So as we go into 2022, guys, let's get this happy, healthy, hungry family strong. Let's travel more. Like that video, guys. Every time you like a video, every time you comment a video, it helps the algorithm out. It lets YouTube know that you like this video. It helps share. It helps bring new people to the channel. The more new people to the channel, the more views, the more subscribers, the more traveling I'm going to get to do, the more challenges, the more places I'm going to get to visit, the more of you I'm going to get to meet. So like I said, really appreciate all your support. Um, but that's about it, everybody. So yeah, the five hardest food challenges. Thank you for coming with me on this year. Let's get 2022 to be the biggest, craziest, awesomest year yet. And let's hope we get a little bit more back to normal. So, till next time, everybody. That's about it. I'm heading to bed here. Um, so, happy New Year's. Happy 2022. And uh, at that, have a good night.
Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.